This video is telling you on how to program a arbitrary value write button in the user web page design tool from Mitsubishi. Hello and welcome back to Zeller Press Control Systems. Today with this um, item right here that writes a value that I display on the historical graph and off we go. I'm gonna just delete it up front and the arbitrary value is written with this item right here being dragged over just like always and being able to change its position by drag and drop or even by making a different size and telling us which item or which variable we want to set. In this case, it's gonna be the D1. Uh, Just write it down and the input value is always gonna be zero. So it's gonna be accordingly to what we put in the field anyway, device number one. It's gonna be a word depending on which one you want to write word, word unsigned, double word signed, etc, etc. The right format is decimal. I would, yeah, for me decimal is the best thing. Write confirm, yes or no, the same like it was on the right button on here. And the font size 20, this is just accordingly to how big the text should be. In this case, maybe we can, ooh, Pop it up a little bit just to whoa, 10 or 18. Just leave it on that. And then we're already set width and height, X coordinate, Y coordinate, always the same. X coordinate position from left to right, Y coordinate position from top to bottom. And then we can write the whole thing to the SD card putting the PLC in stop. That's what it already is from my previous programming. Downloading the file to the SD card mounted in the FX5U CPU. Checking, deleting, transferring. And once that's done, we have the same procedure as every, <laughs> as every time. It's gonna sound a little bit funny already now. Um, we put the CPU in run, execute, confirm, renew the web browser. You can see the size changed now. And the, as you can see, we can put a number in now. Maybe put the number 10 in and write this 10 to the PLC and then we should be able to see the number on here which is also variable D10 and in the historical graph which is variable D10 and if we start the program with the M10 it should also rise accordingly yes and we can even write it back now to the 10 that we had before and it will be overwritten as you can see. And this is already it on how to program the arbitrary write button to the user web design tool from Mitsubishi. Thanks for watching. And like always, like, subscribe, share. Thank you very much.